This is Will Nunziata, New York City-based director and creator of theater, television, and film. And today I am thrilled to be speaking with the acclaimed model in Miss Pennsylvania Earth USA 2020, the one and only Shantae Taylor. But before we get to our interview, here's a sneak peek at the amazing Shantae. We've got an updated trip. I'm gonna show you how to wear them at all different ages. We're gonna start with Shantae. Shantae is wearing the cardigan the way that Jennifer Aniston wore it in Friends. Mm. You know, like buttoned down at the top, buttoned up at the bottom. You can pair it with, with printed pants, jeans, whatever. It's easy, it's sexy, give it a try. Yeah, yes. the animal print keeps it. The animal print is really cute. Yeah. And then we've got Kate, who is modeling our 40s look. We've got this amazing little red riding that inspired Kate from Etsy. And then we've got this amazing gray dress from Elf Mercer. And we completed it with these little fabulous shoes from Chinese Laundry with a clear strap, which is always in, so you can match them with anything in your closet. But together, this look will take you from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. I love all of these. Well, hello, Shantae, how are you? I'm good, how are you? Doing so much better now that we're finally meeting. I feel like we've had this interview on the books for months. Yeah, I know, I know. It's just so many different things are popping up. I know, it is, but look at as busy as the Phoenix app is getting, I'm so excited that you're gonna be a part of it. Look at I'm so grateful that I've been able to meet a lot of influencers and models like yourself who, well, I want to dig into it, Shantae, because I think there's a preconceived notion, and I've talked to a lot of models about this, so I hope you're okay with it. I think no, there's a yeah, preconceived yeah. notion that modeling is just one thing, but Shantae, you're so much more than that. You are, I feel like there's something incredibly motivational about what you do and why you do what you do, and I want to let you be the one to talk about what your purpose is through what you do in your, with your artistry. So growing up as a kid, I was extremely shy. I mean, you could not get me to raise my hand in class. I would be the last one to do anything. I just lacked a lot of confidence. So I would say modeling, I was able to develop a sense of self through modeling. So modeling, I was able to build up my confidence and my self-esteem and I love it. So I think with modeling, people think that models are shallow um that we lack substance that we are very vain um but that is definitely not the case there's there's so many different sides to modeling um i've met some great people in the industry and i think that modeling could be a way for people to develop self-confidence um i think that it could be a way for you to express yourself to meet new people meet new connections so there, there's so many different, um, I guess, avenues of modeling. And I think people also think about high fashion editorial modeling, but there's also print modeling, commercial, promotional modeling. Um, I have experience in all forms of modeling. And then I also dabbled a little bit into pageants. People think the same thing about pageant girls. Oh, it's just a bunch of pretty girls with yeah, tiaras. Right. They're not smart, like, no. It's that athleticism. People don't understand the athleticism the oh. business savvy, the idea, you know, you have to know what your brand is. And I just think you have it, Shantae. Look at, I, you know, I'm a director here in New York. So I have an eye, you know, I have a pretty good eye on talent, but you definitely have that it factor. I'm curious to know, were you told that as a kid? Were you built up as a kid, given a lot of self-confidence or was that something that you had to find within yourself? So honestly, <laughs> it's, it's weird to say, but like um, my mom and my grandmother instilled that confidence in me at a very young age. Like they always taught me to think highly of myself. Like my mom called me a queen since I was a kid. Wait, so I I'm always, literally gonna tear up over here. I just think that um, is so beautiful. Yeah, yeah. so since, since I was a young kid, um, I've always thought highly of myself. Um, and there were some areas where I did lack confidence. I, and I am so grateful for the world of modeling and pageantry because without those two things, I probably still would have been a completely different Shantae. So I just want people to just understand that um, pageant girls and models, we, we have substance. We are not shallow, we are not vain. Um, people get into the industry for completely different things. I mean, both things are, you know, very important to me and they help mold me to be the person that I am today. I mean, with, with pageants, you're very vulnerable. 
because you are basically getting judged based on how you speak, how you walk, how you dress, or do they consider you physically fit? Um, so you are you are getting broken, not broken down, but you are just critiqued on so many different levels. So it definitely takes a strong person mentally and physically to do pageants. Absolutely. And Shante, I mean, people can just realize you are one of the most eloquent, 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 elegant speakers and people I've had on. And not only that, uh, Shante, I want you to talk about your your win that when you were Miss Pennsylvania Earth USA 2020. Talk to me about that experience for you. Um, so I've been competing in pageants for, I would say three years. So it wasn't that long. And oh, wow. It yeah, it wasn't that long. Jante, um, I love it. You like, you just walked in there and you were like, you just showed up and you just win. Um, so yeah, with, with pageants, I came across the Miss Earth USA system. I've always wanted to compete in the system. Um, it's a little different compared to other pageants because it's centered around the environment. Mm. Um, so it's a bunch of a beautiful woman fighting for a cause, environmental causes. So I actually uh, won virtually um, during the pandemic. So I was supposed to go in person to compete and we had to um, do everything online. Like we had to do our interviews online, our, our environmental projects, everything was online, uh, similar to a Zoom uh, I guess, layout. Um, so I actually won uh, virtually. I really wanted to compete in person. So it was, it was myself against the other couple of contestants. So I wasn't able to physically meet the contestants in person. Um, but that's the way we have to adapt now. Um, due to Yeah, the, the whole world has changed. We all had to no. adapt. We're doing a lot more things online. Even Miss USA, their interviews were um, held online. They like, so it's just... We just have to adapt. Certain aspects of pageants are online and certain aspects are in person now. Absolutely. But I, I, I was excited. I always wanted to win and represent my state. Um, so just winning my state was just a dream come true to me. Well, and I, I love, no one can ever take that away from you, Shante. And listen, before uh, we go, I want to just remind the audience, for more on the amazing Shante Taylor, you can read more about her right below this video. And final question for you, Shante, I, I, I can only imagine you get messages from young people all over the country, but especially young girls. I'm curious to know, Shante, if you could give advice to the young Shantes out there who may not have had, you know, the mom and the grandma that you did, you know, calling you queen and giving you that confidence. What advice would you give to those young girls out there who may need some self-esteem um, boosting? I would definitely say um, we are all made to be born different. And I think a lot of times we want to fit in, but we mm. were born to stand out. So I would tell all the young girls out there to acknowledge your fault, your flaws. Yes, definitely acknowledge those flaws, but appreciate them and make them work for you, you know? So that's really important. Just acknowledging, you know, what makes you different from other people and then uh, appreciating what you have that makes you different and showing the world out there what you got going on and nobody can take that away from you. Amen, Shante. Well, listen, you are you are such a freaking star. Excuse my French. Thank you. And I'm so grateful for the time that you took today to speak with me. And I'm so grateful that we're connected now. Thank you. Thank you so much for having me. Thank you.